Just we need to start asking ourselves, why are you not allocating money to, you know, our military forces to buy weapons regularly, annually? Because some of these things get damaged. Some of them, you know, you misplace it in course of running for your life. Some of these things happen. You know, but <laughs> you can't, we can't match them. So if our government is ready, what, look, just look at the policemen we have on the road. Have you seen their guns? <laughs> it looks like some of those weapons that are, you know, have been used um, 10,000 years ago. But they can't be on the road with such ammunition. Uh, we're not asking them to be with, on the road with um, you know, sophisticated ammunition. Mm. But policemen all over the world does not use the kind of um, gun we are using. On, but those, of, those of them are, are the checkpoints, you know, major checkpoints at night. At night. You know, you can't keep them there with that kind of weapon and you, are, you expect them to hear a gunshot and they respond. When you are hearing, you know, the bullet from the other, by, by the sound of the gun, so they know the kind of weapons they are going to face. And you know your own sounds far lower than. Mm. You know, you, 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 you can't have, you, know, you wouldn't have the morale to go there. But when you are hearing a, a dang gun and you know you have something far superior, you say, let us go. Okay, so uh, at this point that uh, the federal government has not yet, uh, yet uh, uh, yielded to this request mm. of 200 rounds of ammunition, uh, what do you think uh, the security personnel can actually do? Because, I mean, they have been deployed to um, different uh, jurisdictions to work. Yes. And they cannot just be there. They, they can't deny not to go. They will definitely go, all right? Yes. So what else can they do? Is there something they can do among themselves to be able to come up with something reasonable, to be able to fight insecurity? You know, first of all, is to be very proactive. Be proactive in the sense that you, you see how to prevent the occurrence of some of these incidents. You have to go and look for intelligence Try, because these people are within the community, try to infiltrate, you know, sorts for intelligence, how, what are they planning and when are they planning what they are planning. And, you know, put a barricade, you know, lay ambush, wait for them. By the time they see that, once, twice, you know, they have been attacked unexpectedly. Mm. You know, they will know that people are preparing for them. If you wait for them to start attacking and start, you know, manning the different um, 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 points, you can't come in. Because these people, are, they are very experienced at what they do. They are very experienced at what they do. If they are operating here, you don't just see people, all of them gathering here. Some of them are at that junction waiting. Some of them go further to wait. And as you are approaching, they are signaling the other people there that you have already started coming. Yeah, they communicate. Yes, they communicate. It's, it's they work in synergy. It's, it's, it's not just, you know, hit and run thing. It's, <laughs> it's a sophisticated operation. So what you have to do is to see that you seek for intelligence and be very proactive because mm -hmm. you can't match them toe to toe. And seek for other ways to, you know, protect the, the, these communities should come together, should come together and um, see how to pr protect themselves. Because at this point in Nigeria, we say government has failed us in every area. Is it in the area of um, food security? In the area of um, uh, um, security of lives?